deadly danger, world-class achievements, scientific research, breakfast, lunch and dinner that was what it was like for the crew of Voskhod 2 on March 18, 1965. Before you watch this video, I'm going to ask you to support my channel with a thumbs up. It won't cost you anything, but it means a lot to me and my channel. Thank you. Time of the first, another space victory for the USSR. The first human spacewalk on March 18, 1965, was another victory for the Soviet Union in the space race with the United States. It was almost snatched from the hands of the Americans, the terms of preparation and testing were reduced to the minimum possible. And for good reason, just 2.5 months later, American astronaut Edward Higgins White repeated the exploit of cosmonaut Alexei Leonov. The main details of the flight of Alexei Leonov and Pavel Belayev are known. The declassified documents published by Roscosmos to 55th anniversary of the flight give some details, these are both reports and minutes of the meeting of the leaders of OKB-1 headed by Academician Korolev, the orders of USSR State Committee on Defense Technology, plans and tasks of cosmonauts, methods of their training and the main thing, the flight log of spaceship Voskhod 2 filled in by the crew. This satellite ship was originally prepared for a human spacewalk. As Korolev pointed out in his report, obtaining the first practical experience of a cosmonaut's stay and activity in outer space near the spacecraft. After the flight, it became clear that man could operate in outer space. Korolev envisioned that in the future astronauts would repair ships while leaving them and even perform welding work. Or move between two ships. Leonov and P. Belayev. Assembly of the Voskhod 2. Outline of the spacecraft into orbit. Voskhod 2. Crew 2 people, commander and second cosmonaut, weight, 5,685 kilograms. Scheduled duration of flight, one day, actually it turned out to be two hours and two minutes longer, but. Scheduled duration of cosmonaut stay, in open space, 10 to 15 minutes. Dot. Airlock hatch diameter, 650 millimeters. Distance covered, 717,300 kilometers. Plan altitude, 400 kilometers. Actually, the ship reached 495 kilometers. At 10 o'clock, the rocket took off from the launch pad at Baikonur Cosmodrome. Immediately after the successful launching of the spacecraft into orbit, the cosmonauts began to prepare for the main part of the mission. Already at 11.32 a.m. the airlock hatch opened and Alexei Leonov left the Voskhod 2. Is in free float, the message was relayed by Belayev. Leonov moved away from the ship several times by 5 m, the maximum length of the halyard that tied him to the board. During these minutes, Voskhod 2 was flying over the territory of the USSR. 16 minutes later, the cosmonaut returned to the ship. Another triumph of Soviet cosmonautics. Two 16mm movie cameras were installed in the airlock of the ship, they filmed Leonov's entrance and exit from the airlock. Two TV cameras of the spacecraft filmed unique footage of what was going on overboard. Leonov filmed himself and then took the camera from the hull of Voskhod 2 and took it back to the ship. Leonov in outer space. Leonov aboard the Voskhod 2. Two in space. Judging by Korolev's report, most of the ship's systems worked fine, including the manual control system, which saved the crew. However, despite numerous tests, it is impossible to work out and foresee everything, especially when it comes to new equipment and space conditions. Several abnormal situations occurred during the flight, including those of a deadly nature. For example, due to an increase in pressure inside the spacesuit during Leonov's spacewalk, he was barely able to return and pass through the hatch, draining some of the oxygen. In addition, the cosmonaut's temperature, pressure and tachycardia increased. But in the end everything turned out all right. Another serious problem arose during the final phase of the flight. When it was time to return to Earth, the automatic solar guidance system of the spacecraft failed for some unknown reason. I had to turn on the manual control, self-position the ship and turn on the braking propulsion system. Having reduced speed, the ship descended from orbit. 
All this was done by Belayev, also for the first time in the world. Until then, the landing of the spacecraft had been controlled by automated systems. It is a miracle that the Voskhod 2, almost without risk of flying into space, entered the atmosphere of the Earth and then landed in a remote taiga, 180 kilometers from Perm. It happened on March 19 at 12.02 Moscow time. The next day the rescuers reached the cosmonauts. On March 19 and 20, the newspapers were full of headlines about the flight. A stamp commemorating the flight. Of course, upon their return, the cosmonauts handed Korolev the flight log. It records important technical calculations and all the actions of the crew, even b journal entries. Leonov and Belayev conducted technical and medical experiments, for example, measuring the ability of the eye to perceive colors in space and taking vestibular tests, determined the location of the ship, photographed the planet in outer space. The cosmonauts negotiated with the Earth, including Yuri Gagarin, spoke with members of the government, made television calls, photographed the planet in outer space, and aired greetings to the peoples of Africa, the USSR, the Kremlin, even capitalist Europe and the USA conveyed friendly greetings and wished peace and well-being. Of course, natural needs were not forgotten either. For example, eating. Everything as it should be, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But that's not all. We seldom imagine astronauts sleeping, but that is how they had to spend much of their time in space. Hourly breaks for 15 to 20 minutes of sleep were necessary to compensate for overload and fatigue. Large sections with the words naps appear time and again in the flight assignment in the space traveler's logbook. But in a tense and very eventful flight of Voskhod 2, the cosmonauts, according to Leonov, did not manage to sleep. The title page of the logbook. The mission task, the first day. Page of a mission. The end of the mission. Material of the research part. I thank you for watching. Your support is very important to me. Your comments and thumbs up motivate me to release new videos on interesting topics. Subscribe and turn on notifications. See you in the new videos.